Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a notification bar just like this using the Cadence theme. You can use this notification bar for a variety of purposes. Maybe you can use it to uh, promote a special discount for you, maybe your online course or a service that you are offering to your clients. Or even you can use this notification bar to promote maybe your lead generation um, uh, free checklist or free course or even free papers. <clears throat> Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a notification bar just like this using the Cadence theme. You can use this notification bar to promote a variety of things. Maybe you can promote, you are promoting a special discount for your online course now, or even you can use this notification bar to direct people to your landing page or squeeze page where you promote your free PDF or checklist in order to encourage people and motivate them to join your email list. I will be using the premium add-on of Cadence theme plus the free Cadence blocks in order to make this effect. So let me show you how you can do this inside WordPress. As I mentioned before, I'll be using the premium add-on of Cadence in order to design this notification bar, which you can buy by going to the Cadence WB and under products, you click Cadence theme and here you'll find the premium plugin. You can just buy it alone, which you can buy the premium add-on of the Cadence theme alone or you can just take the essential bundle, which includes the Cadence Team Pro plus the Cadence Blocks Pro. But for this video, I'll be using the premium plugin of Cadence Team Pro plus the free Cadence Blocks. So definitely you need just this uh, add-on for this uh, to add this notification bar. So once you have the plugin, you, you know the drill one, just uh, click add new under plugins, upload the plugin, um, set it up, install it, activate it, and add your license key. Then you need to activate an important option inside the Cadence theme options panel. Uh, you go to appearance and click Cadence, and you need to activate the hooked elements. So this is an important option inside Cadence theme, which means that once you activate this, you will be able to insert or inject uh, content inside certain uh, parts of your website. For example, you can add, use this element in order to an add a, in order to add an opt-in page at the bottom of every blog post you have but for this particular video I'll be using it to create a notification bar so once you activate this option under the cadence uh, sub uh, sub item in the left menu you'll find a new a new item called elements let's click elements and let's click a new uh, element and by clicking uh, add new and we'll be using the fixed section element type because this is the um, the effect that we need to add let's call this let's click here and let's add a name for for this Type, uh, type and now we need to design the notification bar to design the notification bar i'll be using the roll out of cadence theme in order to uh, style it and add our elements so i will need to add a roll out by going to the plus I, um, icon and i search for the roll out and i will just drag and drop it here and i will choose to have like a two column real roll out now we need to add the um, content here plus the countdown timer and here we'll be adding the button. So the button will take a place like a shorter place. I will just, you know, drag here to make it like 25 or 30 percent. Yes, um, maybe 20 or 30 percent. And let's add a background color. To add a background color, make sure that you are choosing the roll out and in the right menu under the style here under the background color, you can add whatever color you, uh, you want. Let's just add this color now. And here, let's add a content, um, our content using the countdown timer. So you just click and add a block and search for countdown. This is the countdown timer. And now we need this, we need to make this like a, um, a sale for our uh, service for a 50, 25% um, uh, uh, sale, just will last for like seven days only. So we need to change the day to be after this, after seven days, let me change it to be like, Okay, the 6th of June. Now we have added the countdown. We need to add like a text before the countdown. We can do this by going to the countdown layout and search for the pretext. And let me add some text here. And this is the text. So this is Harry. Harry, the time is running out to get the best savings of the year 25% uh, 25 off. You know, in order to make them like inline, you just go to the countdown layout and choose inline. And that's it. This is the countdown in order to make the text um, um, uh, white we again we can go to the roll out and let's choose the color text to be white and here we need to add our button just again we click in the plus button and search for button 
let's add the advanced button and make this like get the discount now and let's add a, um, a link to our contact page by searching for contact and add it here and this is the contact page let's add the uh, background for the um, button again we choose the button here single button and go to style and let's change the background color to be like this one okay so this is the notification bar we need maybe to get rid of the uh, padding here and again you will find that the button is not aligned well with the um, the, the text so to, to in order to make them uh, align together we just click this this icon and we align all to the middle so they are they will be aligned to each other i think this text is very long but let's see how this will happen so again so this is the notification bar let's you know make this full width row and for the content to be just you know limited to the um, the width of the uh, of the rest of the website content we need to go to layout of the relay of the row layout and click here insert to make it inherit from the uh, width from the theme i think we need to make this shorter so let me just shorter the uh, text here so this looks fine let's click publish and now we need to um let the cadence uh, theme elements hooked elements choose where we want to add this to do this we go to the cadence uh, or the element settings and here under the placement we choose to be fixed top after scroll and you need to choose here here you need to choose um after how many after how many um pixels uh, you need this to show i would choose just you know um 100 pixel and then you need to display settings across all the website the entire website and uh, this will be shown to everyone and let's click update and let's go and preview our website and i will scroll down as you can see this is the notification bar okay so if this discount is uh, is uh, will last only for seven days you can go again to the element and here you'll find under the elements settings you'll find the expiry settings you can enable this and you know make it expire in the i think we set it to be in the 5th of june and this is so i click update so once this deadline will um, um once this date will come this notification bar will uh, disappear and no one will take advantage of this discount so this is how easily you can set up a notification bar inside cadence theme by using the premium add-on of cadence Again, you can buy the premium add-on by going to the Cadence WB and under products, you choose Cadence theme and you click pro and you buy the Cadence theme from this page. And also I will leave a link under this video just for make, to make it easy for you to access the website. And of course, maybe I will take an affiliate commission uh, to support this channel. Thanks so much for watching the, the video. If you find this helpful, please like the video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create similar videos every single week. Thank you so much again and see you in the next video. Bye for now.